Welcome back to another video. Today we're hopping into another reaction. We're hopping into seven scariest videos that you need to watch before they get deleted. If you guys do enjoy this video today, make sure to hit that like. Also hit that subscribe. Turn on that post notification bell. And I am sick today. You can probably hear it in my voice, but bear with me. We're here to get scared and we're here to have fun. Enjoy the video. TikTok user Steph asserts that over the past decade, she has encountered unsettling paranormal phenomena in her residence in Mexico following the acquisition of an eerie second-hand doll. You've been experiencing Initially, stuff over Steph and over again. Don't you think it's time to leave? cries of a child resonating throughout her home. Eventually, unable to tolerate it any longer, she disposed of the doll. Regrettably, the spectral presence persisted. One evening... Steph was alarmed to hear chilling noises emanating from her bedroom closet. What unfolds next leaves her profoundly shaken. Espera, espera, ve, se está abriendo. ¿Ya viste? That was a hand. Yo. No mames. Ya decidió hacerse presente el amigo. Y de día. Ay, no. Miren, 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 miren. Oh my gosh. There ain't no way, bro. I'm be tripping. That's disturbing. Straight up. How many encounters do you have with this? Guys, would you stick around if that was happening in your home? Like, your closet opening back and forth, you seeing a hand coming from your closet? Not a chance. I swear, if I see something, I'm jumping straight out my chair. A small childlike hand gently grips the closet door, right, knock back. sliding it open with a hushed motion. Skeptical observers of Steph's TikTok videos speculate that That's Sandra probably the most open, real yet Steph reveals an empty space. Evidence we have. Steph posits I don't know, there are some ones that match that, but like may manifest I don't know. as a child. Paranormal events are now becoming like more entity, occurrent because lives. people are just filming them now. But the question remains. So crazy. Is it genuine? Or an intricately crafted deception. Exactly, but Let me is it fake? Thoughts. I don't know though. That would be pretty hard to fake, but I didn't see any splits within the video at all. And I didn't see anything that would have been out of the ordinary. So if you guys did see anything, I may have provided more evidence proving that's real or fake. I mean, leave it down in the comments. Other than that, bro, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to say that's real. Late one night in Argentina, Jermaine, exploring a remote cemetery, made a startling discovery. An ancient You're in the cemetery at night, you're asking for it. Gravestone. What you got a Ouija board for, Against bro? Against better judgment, he decided to bring it home. The board, eerily adorned with a pentagram, and what Homie appears is to be five drawers Homie is dumb. Bed, piqued his curiosity. Despite his skepticism... Guys, the do not bring a Ouija board home that does not belong to you at a graveyard. Seriously, that is the highest stupidity level there is. Natural, Jermaine resolved to experiment with the board. Within days, unsettling phenomena he's began gonna to unfold in his Experience and then he's gonna One night, really regret. by chilling noises and captured this. You brought this on yourself, bro. Ain't nobody do this except for yourself. Nadie me va a decir que esos son gatos. Escuchen. I swear, bro. If I see no some stuff pasos. because he brought this all, I don't wanna be. Pasos. Oh man, that was horrifying. Get the okay. fuck up. Okay. Game over. Don't think? tell me that. You, did he write that? Please tell me. Yo, I'm tripping. Huh? Huh? 
Oh, no. Ok. Esta es la puerta abierta. ¡Ey! What do y'all think we're about to see? We're about to see think? some... Some dumb stuff, I swear! Ok. Voy a buscar la picana. ¿Qué? Oh my gosh, bro. Something was dead watching him. Something was in the same room as him when he was standing there. That is so scary about the supernatural. That's just a thing. Anything supernatural could go wrong. You have a taser? You brought a taser to fight a ghost, my guy? Shut up. Ain't no way. He hears a persistent knocking from above, and suddenly the door swings open of its own accord. As he Homie brought a taser house, to a ghost fight. A sudden noise startles him, revealing a like, chaotic scene. Didn't even think of Items Bible, across the floor, holy water, including the meticulously I mean, any kind of from just relic, a rosary. Before. The following night, he awakens to something far more Pray. unsettling. Oh gosh, it gets worse. ¿Qué pasa? Bro, those are voices inside. Oh, I'm not liking this. Dude, shut up. I'm done with this. Um, dude, you need to leave right now. You need to go straight up. It is surrounding you like a shark. You are bait. What are you guys gonna do in that scenario? I guarantee he's regretting bringing that Ouija board home. He discovers nothing inside the Ain't closet. Ain't no way. He glimpses a shadowy figure pass by the window. No way. Upon investigating, I would have been crying no at that present. point. Since introducing the Ouija board, these occurrences have escalated nightly, fueling his growing apprehension that something malevolent is attempting and there's to blood on that board. his surroundings. Mira, 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 mira. ¿Qué quiere? Something is there for you now, my guy. Quiere? You have an attachment. You accepted it. He has salt on the ground. Hey. Is something on fire in there? Yo, just put yourself in salt right now, my guy. Literally, draw a circle of salt. Remedy that. Get out. As soon as morning comes, hey, send it. Where did those candles come from? Ain't no way this is real. Ain't no way this is real. If this is real, you got the devil in your house. Oh. See, what are the odds of that? Do you all think this is real? Is that just burning? Bro, what the mess? I don't see any cuts. If this is genuine, I am terrified. There is grunting. Noise is behind you, and you're so focused on the fire that you're looking at the fire, my guy. 
Can we look at the darkness? Why is he still in the house? I have so many questions. A looming shadow appears behind the window. Upon investigation, if something is burning no something in your house, only don't you think it's time to go? Ominously on the ground. This sight instills a deep sense of terror within him. He now entertains the unsettling thought that the Ouija board he retrieved from the cemetery might be cursed, unleashing a relentless haunting upon his home. Taking that Ouija board could very well have been the gravest mistake of his life. I'm just trying to put the puzzle pieces together where he thought it was a good idea to bring a Ouija board home. That's covered in blood and a satanic star on the back. Like, would you bring that home? Just out of curiosity? Like, I know I wouldn't. I wouldn't even touch it. Wouldn't even look at it. I'd just keep walking. He kind of asked for it. I'm not going to lie. Like, he invited it in. He was like, hey, come stay a bit. That guy was dumb. In the realm of paranormal investigations, a key lesson emerges swiftly. Refraining from engaging with spirits offers the best defense against potential attachments. Agreed. Yet, one Don't talk to ghosts. unwittingly forged a connection within his workplace. It began innocuously enough, with peculiar occurrences catching his attention. Could you imagine to document these events as evidence. getting an attachment from work? Is he at work right now? I'd make your hair stand up on the back of your neck really quickly. It looks like a hotel almost. As expected, his recording exacerbated the entity's presence, causing it to follow him home. In an attempt to rid himself of it, he resorted to performing a ritual for reasons see that's unknown. just the thing though if it were to bring it like if i were to bring a ghost home to like, i would be pretty pressed why do you have a cross upside down my guy are you doing a ritual why is your why is your cross upside down it should be facing up you're representing the devil like, i rebuke that <laughs> I don't know what he's saying, but por el sello concurado que está en tu espacio. Oh, stuff is moving right in front of him. I wouldn't be able to stay calm in that situation. Absolutely not. Espíritu. Retírate. Retírate en el nombre de Lucifer. I wouldn't still be sitting there. We never gained insight into what lay beneath the surface supporting all the ritualistic elements leaving uncertainty about activities off camera no however not in my own home doesn't conclude there guys you should never do a ritual in your home outcome, he resorted i'm not even gonna lie that's board, a decision that proves that's that's just probably the worst thing you could do for your overall Así health and life why is your planchette on your oh my gosh oh Hey, it's not there to play no more. So your plan should have never been on that board. Just don't even connect with the supernatural world. No? 
Don't play these games, people. What are you doing, bro? He's gonna go flying at his head or something, I swear. Why would you? As oh he discussed my God. methods to dismantle the board or seal any portals he might have inadvertently opened, the plaque suddenly flies across the That would have freaked me out. I would have been it. Cautiously, he brings the camera in Take way too many planchets no flying off the board, people. Or wires. That's why we don't play Ouija boards. He had anticipated answers from the Ouija session, yet it only deepened his inquiries, especially after a similar incident occurred a few days later. <sighs> I see nothing but disadvantages for playing that Ouija board. And never, ever, ever in my lifetime, I'm never gonna touch that thing. What was that? Did you see it? <coughs> Take a closer look. I didn't a see pale, anything. ghostly hand appears to be pressed against the window. Yet, that was just the beginning of the chilling discovery. As he continued filming, hoping to capture more... It's gonna be worse. What he encountered next was truly spine chilling. Shit. <laughs> was that the devil? Bro, what was that above his head? I ain't never seen nothing like that. Hold up, rewind. Okay. Vete de aquí ya, en el nombre de Dios, en nombre de Jesús. Vete ya. Bro, what is that? Right up in the right corner, bro. What is that? No, 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 no. Did anybody else see that, or am I just tripping? What is that? Why does it have red eyes and antennas? It appears again just moments later as well. I don't even know if y'all should look at that. Okay. Ain't a chance. Oh my gosh, bro. I could not look at that. The pointed fingers are now clarified. However, from That's a, a demon. perspective, That's a demon. the demon's head resembles a decorative piece or possibly a Halloween mask. Regardless of its nature, a Halloween mask, bro. A you think somebody ha is hanging with upside down phenomena in unconventional locations? I don't know even what I would say if I seen that in my video. I would be probably going to the church. I'd be renting out a room for a while. Maybe. Check out priesthood, see how that works. Anything to get me as far as away as I could from that thing. At 3 a.m. in the morning, Merlin, behaving unusually, Merlin persisted in growling and whimpering at a bedroom door, oh. seemingly sensing an unseen that presence That stuff freaks inside. me out. Alarmed by this eerie behavior, Lante opted to err on the side of caution and alerted the authorities. Oh. As they awaited the- Not the response, dogs. Lante See, began recording have y'all ever had your dog or animal, cat, anything? Camera. Look at something, like yeah. in the doorway, the police are underway. in the corner, 3 o'clock in the morning. What is it? What is it? That would mess me up. What is it? What is it? It would be a bad time for a jump scare, bro. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, I think I'd shit myself. That was unexpected, bro. If I don't see that, oh gosh, bro, I'll be going to heaven. My soul would have left my body, bro, just about did.
Oh, man, I hit the floor so hard. Ain't a fucking chance. You going too slow. I would have been breaking down my door. Everything. As Lante enters the bedroom, a shadowy figure stands. That's too in the much. Closet. Overcome with fear, he oh my gosh! From the room. Don't Gary tell me that's real. To investigate further, he returns only to find the closet empty. This unsettling incident adds to a series of inexplicable occurrences Man. in his apartment, leading him to speculate that it may. I'd have left. Haunted. Viewers swayed by the eerie atmosphere. I wouldn't even know what to say, bro. As if sensing a threat, I would have been are inclined gone somewhere. I would have been sleeping in my car. I'd rather been homeless at that point. What are your thoughts? Ain't a chance I'm sleeping in that. That's a woman in black. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know down in the comments if that got you as bad as it got me. Because that was too freaky much, man. Unsettling footage surfaced from El Salvador capturing an inexplicable figure wandering through one of these fields, confirming the fears of many. Is that like what they call a duende? Is that what that's called? It just disappeared. Bro, that's gone. I could be an old farmer. Certainly, as is common these days, some commentators speculated it might be a skinwalker. <clears throat> I don't know. Others I don't know about skinwalker. I don't know about nightcrawler either. Because like it with dissipates. Aliens. The I think that's a ghost. Is vaguely humanoid and appears to fluctuate in and out of our perception as it moves. This detail undoubtedly evokes a chilling sensation, though certain aspects of the video raise doubts. I don't know. Firstly, if indeed something resembling a skinwalker or an alien was it would it would field, stay materialistic. I mean, it, it wouldn't dissipate from the animals present. Yet, it's like they didn't even know it was there, unperturbed by the situation. My nose this itches. Suggests two possibilities: either oh. the entity was digitally inserted. Or it existed solely within the camera's view. Exactly. Animals, sensory perception. It's supernatural. Could it have been a child passing by, visually distorted into a figure resembling a large headed, small bodied entity by the camera? However, the notion of a child being alone outside at such an hour raises significant questions those cows didn't see anything and cows react to people if you guys live in the midwest or have ever had cattle or live on a farm or anything like that you guys will know cattle will react to people inside their pen no matter what they'll look at them they'll at least get up they'll rotate away from you i mean that's that's supernatural to its best ability right there a reddit user known as elizabeth green girl 88 shared unsettling footage on the ghost subreddit the video, recorded by a security... We should do a Reddit reaction. Husband, that would be interesting. ...initially shows her husband performing the routine task of taking out the trash. However, the situation takes a disturbing turn when it becomes apparent that he is not alone. An eerie presence, seemingly from another realm, accompanies him. Watch closely. What say me by that? Oh my gosh. See, I don't like that feeling like you're you may be alone. You may not be alone. Hard to say. You don't know what's in the room with you. You don't if know what's sitting in that dark corner behind the man disposing of, you the know, trash, you might discern like, a peculiar ghostly figure meandering around him for a brief moment before vanishing inexplicably. Many viewers as evidenced by the comments. I mean, that could be a particle desolation in the camera. Footage. According to the upload, it's hard to say. After viewing the footage with her husband later on, he was noticeably unsettled. A reaction easily understood I mean, given the circumstances. What do you believe was captured? That on could be. That, that could day? be legit. Could it be a spectral visit? That's security camera. So expected appearance, 
That's hard to say. Another explanation at play here. Spirits pass through all the time. I'm eager to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Hannah Vivere is popular TikToker, regularly sharing videos of dance routines and exercises with her half a million followers. However, like many influencers, she has also attracted unwelcome attention from some disturbing individuals. Unfortunately, one such instance crossed the line into invasive. Was she getting in contact with like the Illuminati? In a video posted to her account in November 2020, Hannah is seen performing a dance routine in her living room, aiming to entertain and engage her audience. Initially upbeat, the video suddenly takes a dark and unexpected turn, revealing a disturbing twist. <laughs> Who are you? Please get out of my apartment right now. Please get out of my apartment right now. Oh, hell no. Get out. Get out. Bro, somebody broke in? Hello? That'd be it. I'd be packing the bags, moving out. See, this is why influencers normally Sorry. like a disconcerting intruder scaled hands keep their locations and concealed and entered her home got some crazies out there discovering him inside she was understandably terrified and demanded his immediate departure how Despite did he know where she lived assistance, he persisted even questioning if they were acquaintances to which she firmly denied any association and reiterated her demand for him to leave Eventually, he complied, but not before causing significant distress. Regrettably, y'all be safe out there. Experience appears to have Keep your locations to yourself. Don't tell her to anybody what city you live in. Videos, even where you're close to. She had previously you could go. You you could go missing just like that. Settling. You might get a stalker or two, and they may show up to your front door and come on through. And at the end of the day, your safety means more to anybody. And there's people that go missing every single year because of it, like kids, adults, everybody. Be careful when you're surfing online as well as when you're communicating with people online. Let me know down in the comments which video scared you the most. Other than that, it's been fun. Make sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe, turn on that post notification, and I'm gonna see y'all in the next video. Peace.